Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Dot Destroyer book. I have a special treat today. I'm with Professor Blois, who was actually my professor in college, who's agreed to work more on some videos for you in math. Today we're going to do fractional exponents. All right, Professor Blois, if we could have the honor for you to give us some pointers here. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, first, we're going to start with this example here. Expressed in fraction and radical form, we have x to the negative 4 fifths power. Now, embedded in this one exponent is three instructions, the negative, the 4, and the 5. And we're going to take them one at a time. The negative tells us to take the reciprocal. The 5 in the denominator tells us to take the root. And the 4 in the numerator tells us to take the power. So let's do this step by step. First, we're going to uh, follow the negative sign and take the reciprocal. This is 1 over x to the 4 fifths power. Okay, we followed one of the three instructions in the exponent. Now we're going to follow the instruction in the denominator, take the fifth root. So this is going to be, we leave it in the denominator, we take the fifth root of, and finally the third instruction, x to the fourth. So here it is, express in fraction and radical form, this, this uh, uh, x to the negative 4 fifth power, there's our answer. All right, let's apply this to an actual number. 32 to the negative 4 fifths power. We're going to do the same thing. Follow the orders. There are three orders in here, right? Three instructions. We're going to take them one at a time, starting with the negative sign. The negative sign says take the reciprocal. So it's 1 over 32 to the 4 fifths power. Okay, next step. We're going to take the root, the fifth root of 32, the fifth root of 32, and that's going to be taken to the fourth power. Now, the fifth root of 32, you may know, is 2, because 2 to the fifth power, right, 2 to the fifth power is equal to 32, therefore the fifth root of 32 is equal to 2. So it's 1 over 2 to the fourth power. 2 to the fourth power is what? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 16. The answer is 1 over 16. So there we are, we followed all three instructions for these, this exponent here. Okay, let's try this with a fraction. Okay, let's apply this same uh, complicated exponent here, this fraction exponent to a fraction. 8 27 raised to the negative 2 thirds power. We're going to follow the instructions one by one in the same order. First, the negative sign. We're going to bring that over here. First, the negative sign, which says take the reciprocal. So all we're going to do is turn the fraction upside down to make it 27 over 8. And we lose the negative sign because we've just figured that out. We've just followed that instruction. Okay, now we're going to take the denominator here. We're going to take the cube root of the numerator and the denominator. So we have the cube root of 27 over the cube root of 8 and that quantity squared. So I think we know the cube root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of 8 is 2, and we take that and we square it, and our answer is 9 fourths. So there's our solution to that problem. Now, if we go one step further and apply the uh, fraction exponent to a more complicated algebraic expression, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to follow the three instructions that are embedded in this exponent. So let's do, we, first we're going to obey the negative sign by taking the reciprocal of everything. So it's y to the 12th over 8x to the 6th. So all we did here was just turn the fraction upside down. Okay, it's still to the 2 thirds power. Then we're going to follow the instruction of the denominator. We're going to take the third root of each one of these factors, okay? So we're going to take the, the cube root of y to the 12th, and we, when we take the cube root of y to the 12th, we can write it like this. It's y to the 12th to the 1 third power, 8 to the 1 third power, and x to the 6th to the 1 third power. And all this is going to be squared. So when we take a, when we exponentiate an exponent, we take the product of the exponents. So 12 times 1 third is 4. So it's y to the fourth. 8 to the 1 third power is 2. Uh, x to the 6 to the 1 third. 1, sixth, 1 third times 6 is 2. So this is x squared. And I'm going to take the entire 
expression uh, to the second power squared. So the final answer is uh, y to the fourth squared is y to the eighth, two squared is four, and x squared squared is x to the fourth, and there's our answer. I think that was absolutely smoking work. Hopefully everybody enjoyed that. You never cease to amaze me with this stuff. Oh, it's, really? it's nice, you, good stuff. You are stuff. fast. All right, guys. Um, we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.